Hi everyone, welcome back. I think I know why you're here today and I'm not gonna be wasting your time. So let's get right to it. Today is my fifth day of my fast. I actually already came off of it. And in total, I fasted for 112 hours. So crazy, I was eight hours from, being, from it being five whole days. So it was basically four and a half days. Um, and I broke my fast with one zip of carrot juice and kefir and I also had one really small slice of um, black bread with lots of seeds, like a very healthy type of bread and I was chewing it super slowly. Uh, I didn't even really feel like I was eating it, but this is a story for the next video. But as promised, I am going to tell you how I prepped for my fast and what it's been like here. So, as I said, I did start prepping for my fast a week before I came here and normally you're supposed to start eating very healthy, you have to leave out gluten, sugar, meat, dairy, so basically just eat a lot of greens, vegetables, drink a lot of water, limit coffee, no smoking, no alcohol, and honestly, I can't say that I did that <laughs> fully, I just didn't want to. <laughs> I started off at a very good pace. I was like, I'm going on a diet, let's do this, but I couldn't. I did walk. I walked about seven kilometers every day. And I also, um, I switched up some meals to just having nice, good salads. Oh my God, you have to try baked sweet potato, feta cheese, uh, on greens, such a good salad. If you add some seeds and maybe some nuts in it, so good. I had those two or even three times a week. Then every breakfast was a smoothie. Normally it was a green smoothie, water-based, no milk um, and eggs, sunny side up. Those are my favorites. And so I had that for breakfast and normally lunch was quite late. It was either a big salad or something to that extent. I didn't have dinner every night, but I did have pasta twice but I don't regret it. They were the best pastas ever. <laughs> and kudos to the chef. They're really, really, really tasty. So I wouldn't change that to anything. And actually my last meal before going on a fast was also um, a pasta. I can't remember the name, but it was like all cheesy and pepper. It was so good. Anyway, um, and why I couldn't keep to the strict diet was just, I, I didn't feel like it. I'm, I'm not a person to, be or go on a strict diet anymore. I've done that so much in my life. So now I'm very, I'm quite mindful about what I eat. If I want to enjoy, I will. And I'm quite active. I mean, I go on my walks and I drink almost around two liters of water every day. So I do flush everything out and therefore I wasn't really stressing about it and uh, not stressing about it here either because this whole experience has been so crazy. Extraordinary, crazy, mind blowing. I really, like, I just need to explain it to you. So, let's go to the beginning. I started fasting on Sunday, 6 p.m. Um, I wasn't here yet, but on Monday, I drove two hours from Tallinn, I'm near Tartu, which is uh, south of Estonia, into a wellness retreat where they do medical fasts, detoxes, diets, and just a lot of treatments for your body. And um, and this is where I've been, and this is where I am now, this is my room. And the reason why I didn't want to fast at home is that, well, first of all, I've never fasted this long, and I really wanted to have a team of professionals around me who know what they're doing and who will help me if I feel lost or very, very hungry. And I just didn't want to do it alone. Plus my mom came with me, so, and she's on a diet here, so she's been, here as well which has helped a lot I'm never alone and lastly I just uh, wanted to be in a relaxing environment I figured it was gonna be easier to fast here than at home when where you have like peanut butter in the pantry and like stores food stores so that's that that's that's why I don't recommend anyone um, uh, fasting at home either because it's just much better to do it here, I imagine. I never fasted at home, so I can't really compare, but my experience here has told me that I'm doing the right thing. 
so I got here Monday Monday we checked in we uh, yeah got everything settled in and just to not make it too long I'm gonna tell you what my average day here has looked like so first of all I haven't I don't eat here all we have is water so around two liters of water every day which is about four bottles of those like general size four bottles of water um, two types of tea one is like a tea that helps uh, ease the if you get like gas or constipation it eases that and second is I think a chamomile tea that they serve but I could be wrong it just tastes a bit like chamomile two teas and then midday they also my phone is dying <laughs> and midday they also serve broth but it's not like a regular broth it's completely unsalted so it's basically just like vegetable water and honestly the first day I did not like it at all it tasted a bit even like bitter so I was like not having it the second day I was a bit hungrier so I did have like a big zip of it because it's actually you're supposed to have it it's it's good for your um, stomach because Basically on the second day, your what happens is that your intestines turn off. Your whole digestive system is off. It doesn't work because there's nothing to digest anymore. So you go on like, a, I think they call it ketosis, which is you have burned all your sugars. So your body starts burning fat and eventually starts burning muscle. Um, so that that's what happens. But but because I didn't do it so long, I, I'm still very good. And, and so I'm not starving myself and the whole point of this is not to torture yourself by no means It's not about torturing yourself. This is more about the whole experience of Getting in touch with your body having like a rejuvenation of your mind your body energy All of that together and that's why I do recommend if you do want to fast go to a wellness retreat to do it because you have we have 25 people here who are all either fasting or dieting at the same time so we're all kind of going through the same thing and none of us have food so it really is easier here and so every day starts with um, an enema uh, just to keep my youtube channel polite I'm not gonna explain what it is but you can look it up and then you'll know what it is so every night every day starts and ends with an enema I have skipped a few though because either I have slept in because I've been sleeping I haven't forced myself to wake up too early because sleeping is is a necessity here and it's a quite a value so I've slept through at least two of them but in the evenings I've always gone and once I also had like a deep colon cleanse which they also do with tubes so I also recommend just go google it so I don't have to explain it to you and that's the goal of that is just to really clean out whatever has been left there in the past years and to my surprise I was actually very clean which was I, I was really happy about that. That means whatever I've been eating before and in the last six months has been going through my system and has been healthy enough that I can just continue, go back to my mindful eating and, and it'll be good for me. <clears throat> so I had that once and they recommend, they said I don't need to do it again because I'm all clean. <laughs> but normally people do it at least three times or something. Uh, so I had that one night. Um, after the morning enema, I normally, uh, go for a walk. I walk about two and a half kilometers with my mother. We walk very slow pace just to like get some fresh air and get my um, blood pressure a little bit higher and just wake up a little bit because everything here is in slow motion. I literally get out of bed, first I sit, then I start getting up because you can't do any sudden movements because your heart rate goes up and you start feeling dizzy. It's because you, you have no energy in many ways. So I haven't done that. And so we walk very slow. Then at nine, I've always had a doctor's appointment where they take my blood pressure. Um, she asks me a bunch of questions on how I'm feeling. She also gives me um, water. Um, she mixes minerals into water like magnesium, zinc, all these important minerals that our bodies do need. So I drink that. And then she weighs me um, just to see how my weight is changing. And then she uh, uh, checks my stomach, the digestive system, just to see if there are any gases or something stuck there that needs to come out. And she gives me some recommendations for the day. And yeah, we decide how the rest of the day will go for me. Mm. And the best part about this retreat is that I've had, like generally you have like average three treatments a day. 
there was a day when I had, had even five, which was a, the best day. And those really make it so much better. I've had a massage every single day here. Then I have water therapy where they first, they use a hose in this bit of a strange room. They use a hose to um, put quite hard pressure water on you. And it's, it's like a whole thing. I, I haven't looked it up, but I'm putting in a name here so you can look it up. First, it's warm water. They hose your whole body. Like you get, like it's like a water massage kind of. Uh, both like sides front and back then they switch it to cold water which was I think 14 degrees which is not that cold if you take cold showers like I do so I didn't really scare me so then the cold water and so that's the water therapy then I've had a body scrub body mask head massage with like different good oils um, a paraffin for my legs a foot massage um, then my mom has also had pedicure, mani manicure, a facial. So there's so many different treatments you could choose from and they're all so well done. Literally the massage I've had here is, I think the only place where I've had a better massage is in Thailand, which is like known for their massages. But here the woman, she's just great. So I'm, I'm like, that's the best part of my day is getting that massage from her. And most of it is like included in the price already, which is incredible. You get a very good value for the price. Not like advertising this place, I'm just saying it's really good value. And whenever you feel really like dizzy, hungry, like, like really bad, you can actually have a spoonful of uh, honey. So twice I added just a little bit of honey to my tea because I was just not feeling so good. And normally during the day, I also take a nap. Uh, the most I've been able to is two hours and then in the second half of the day I have either gone for a walk again with my mother or we went to a bookstore to buy some books and I also got a, got a new journal because my other one is already full and and yeah and then the evenings are the hardest because the spa is closed so we can't use the sauna or the pool so we basically just lay in bed uh, and that's all we do which is uh, yeah, the evenings are the hardest, so I'm really like, just... What I've been doing the last three days is scrolling food TikToks. And weirdly, I haven't even... I've liked doing that, I've enjoyed doing that, because I know that once all of this is over, once I'm done with the fasting diet that comes after, I can eat again, and I'm, I'm really excited for that, so I've been saving a bunch of recipes. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess my main takeaway is that if I'm not bored, it's really not that hard. Excuse me. <coughs> um, but it's been a very interesting experience. And like I said today, I just wanted to come here and tell you what uh, what I do here. What's the main like day for me? Um, I've also been working on my thesis, just doing work and yeah, watching some series and reading a book. But really days have gone quite fast and like really shocked that I managed to not eat for almost five days. It's crazy for me. And I think that's all that I wanted to share now because I do want to share another video where I want to really specifically explain all the things that my body has gone through throughout this, like the, not just like, like the physical things that I've experienced during the fast and I think they're worth sharing because I have never experienced anything like this before. And and then I also wanna obviously tell you what the results are for me. Did I gain anything from this? And will I do it again? And all those things. And please leave me your questions if you have anything else you wanna ask me. I hope I answered everything that people did ask me now. Oh, one more thing. I am in, like I said, I'm near Tartu. It's called Bio Spa. And a week here is, uh, it'll be around 700 uh, because I did take a few extra treatments, but a week here, 700 is, it's, it's, I think it's a very good value for the whole experience and the fact that you have doctors around you. And I think that was all for the questions that people asked me. So I'm not gonna leave you hanging and I'll be back soon to tell you everything else about this experience that I've been having. And so please subscribe, uh, like and comment, or if you want, share this with any of your friends who might be interested in fasting. And I'll be back in 
a few days to tell you more. Bye!